Hey, welcome back to Scorched Earth. Gmo here. Well, today we are definitely going to go out for a thorny dragon because I'm getting tired of chopping down trees with an axe. And we need to close off this area because our Anki, as you can see, his health is cut in half. Because while I was chopping down trees out over there, and Arthur Plura came in here and was ruining his day. And as you can see, I have quite a few uh, trank darts on me. I also brought the crossbow and a few uh, trank arrows in case we need them. And we are going to head up into the hills here and see if we can find a thorny dragon. I really don't care what level, as long as it's at least a 70. Oh, no, 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 no. Mr. Earth of Plura, you're not going to work your way down and start biting on my dinos. I know what your plan is. Yeah, yeah, I know how you guys are. Yeah, yeah, just don't, 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 don't spit and no spitting. I don't want to go back and fix my armor. Okay. Now, hopefully, it won't take long to find a thorny dragon, but I will cut cut this until I will fast forward until we can find one. Okay, we will be right back. Okay, I have found one. He is a level 105, which is really nice. What isn't nice is he's right next to a rock element, which is 125. Which, that will ruin our day. Get out of here, Scorpion. I'm going to try and get a shot off on that thorny dragon. And see if I can coax him off to the desert that way. Because he seemed to walk away from all the other ones. Because there's a whole bunch of them over here. Because as soon as you attack one, they have that family mentality. And they like to keep to uh, family. You shoot one, and they all come after you. So let's work around to the other side. Because I tried this once before, and I should have... Uh, Put that in the video. Oh, no, 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 no. I hope that's not a sandstorm, but I think it is. Luckily, we made the helmet, so we'll be able to. Can I get up there? No. I have to go all the way down. If it's a sandstorm, it's going to ruin our day. Can we get up through here? No. We're going to go out. Come on. This thing is not a four-wheel drive. I wonder if we can shoot him from here. Can we get up on this rock? Yes. It's a long shot. Oh, come on, I don't want to waste these. I only have a certain amount. We're going to have to get closer. I don't want to get too close to the rock and elemental. Uh-oh, I hit something. Oh, crap. Time to boogie. Is he coming? Yay, he sure is. That is my luck. I 
Okay, he went down. All right, we're going to see if we can lure him the other way. We'll be back in a few minutes. Oh, sorry, my audio was out. I didn't realize that. Sorry about that. Which way is he running? Of course, he's going to run right to the rock elemental. Okay, you're coming back. Come on, baby, knock out. Come on. Oh, I hate when the gun malfunctions. Because this guy's almost out. Yes. Oh, and did I grab the mutton? You got to be kidding me. I got five prime. Okay. Nothing else around us? Well, take seven prime. All right, we're going to track him. 
hopefully nothing will bother him. We're going to go grab the mutton. I'm really sorry about the audio. I didn't re realize my audio was out. I used the Rex to uh, pretty much tank his attacks. And my fortitude, I think, is 22. Um, oh, that's the Rex. Uh, yeah, my fortitude is 22. So that is why we could tank quite a few of his hits without getting knocked out. All right. The Rex is taking some of the poison, as you can see up in the top right. But it's still good. The Rex is not going to get knocked unconscious. Come on. Get out of the way. Come on. Come on. I forgot the mutton. I forgot the mutton. Get out of the way. I gotta go back and get the mutton. It always forgets something. And you know, all that time in the last episode we were looking for dung beetles. Uh, two dung beetles went walking past our base. Oh, it's a lightning storm, thank God. Sandstorms are the worst. And we've been getting all kinds of Rexes, low level, coming past the base. Uh, ranging all the way up to, I think, a level 30. Okay, let me grab this. So we don't lose too much of the mutton. You know, finding that Ovis on day one was just unbelievable. I'm grabbing extra mutton only because mutton spoils so fast. Wow, he is still flashing. And even giving him stem berries. Stem berries really don't work on these guys. Even if we had stimulant, it wouldn't work. Oh, it's going to be so nice to have uh, a wood gatherer. And being that he's over 100, that is the better part. Can't believe how many rock elementals there are. You know, last time I was here, I want to say maybe one, maybe two I seen up on that mountain. That was it. Nothing like this. This guy fell in a good spot. Oh, I got it on me. That's right. There you go, little buddy. Sorry you took such a beating. Oh, yeah. You 100%? Yeah, you're going 100%. Good. And that's some good raw mutton for you. Pretty soon we'll be making kibble. I did learn all the uh, engrams for greenhouse. And once we get an RG on top of this hill, there's a good supply of crystal. And we'll uh, capture an RG and start getting some crystal with the Yankee. And we'll be in business, get the greenhouse all set up. Start getting some advanced veggies. Start getting some eggs. Oh, we got a long way to go. Oh, sorry about the yawn. It's been a long day. And I am just so happy. A 105. He is going to tame out good. 52 levels. Beautiful. And these guys are so much fun. They really are. All I got to do is get a male and breed these guys. Well, not really breed them, but they lay eggs and I can get uh, thorny dragon eggs. Actually, I should go get some more organic polymer while he's going. He's not going to wake up, is he? No. 
he'll be tame before he wakes up. Because I've seen a couple of uh, mantis over here. Let's go get some mantis. What level are you? Ah, uh, 40. I don't mind killing 40s. Alright, your buddy gonna come in? Oh yeah, your buddy come in. Come on. Come on, I don't want him to harvest it. Come on. All right, I got 31 using a pick. Chainsaw works the best. Oh, yeah, axe is better. Axe is much better. And then just put it on. Oh, I got the uh, salt on me, so it's fine. How are you doing back there? Oh, you're doing beautiful. You're at sixty two percent. No more over here, nope. Yeah, park him in the shade. Uh we could use some fiber. I'll always use some fiber. Yeah, I don't know if there's a good fiber gathering uh, dino on this world. Since there's no theories. Uh, maybe a moss chops. But with them wanting mushrooms, yeah, that's at least every one I've come across wants mushrooms. So, no moss chops for me. Hey, hey, no pooping while I'm coming around, buddy. I don't want to see you pooping. Yeah, it's a good amount of fiber. We got that prime. Uh, you know what? Throw that meat on you. Uh, you know what? You can take the organic polymer and the salt. That'll extend everything for you. Wow, we've done the 17 darts. And you ain't got much more time left. Yeah, a few more bites. Yeah, baby. We're going to have a thorny dragon. Oh, and then we need to start upgrading our Rexes once we get uh, our RG. Oh, look at that. Look at that, baby. Let's go see our thorny dragon. Woohoo! Are you stuck in there? Where are you? Oh, you coming around? Oh, there you are. Let's get that tracker off first. Turn that tracker off. Well, I really should change my uh, tribe name from Lost Island uh, Tours. Look at you. You're a darling, aren't you? Okay, let's take you home. 157. Take you home, get a saddle for you. And then we're going to harvest you some wood. Oh, yeah. 
And then we're going to make ourselves an Archie trap. And let's see if we can get one of them low level Archies. And then get a high level Archie. I've actually taken from one mountain, because I made an Archie trap on this mountain here. And, or I'll pull a map out. Okay. Oh, you can't use a pointer. All right. This mountain here is the mountain right here. Um, I've taken and made a trap on that mountain, gone over to that mountain over there, made an RG follow me all the way back to this mountain because it was a much higher level RG. <laughs> And I think the RGI trapped on this mountain was only like a level 25. It was a long, tedious journey. In real time, it probably took me 30, 35 minutes because I kept having to turn back around and I was flying on low speed and he beat the living daylights out of my RG. All right, jump, take this off. And let's get that girl out. Look at you. You are beautiful. You are one. Oh, let me turn this off. You are one beautiful little baby. They don't really have much health. They got beautiful melee for starting. 277 for a 105. That is awesome. And they got decent weight. They har the thing I love is she's going to harvest nothing but wood. It's a lot different than a beaver, where a beaver's going to harvest the berries all around it. These things don't. Well, let's go ahead and make a thorny dragon saddle. Let's see what we got here. Did I learn it yet? I thought I did. Um, Mantis saddle... Is it not made it? Oh, right here. Yeah, we need... Uh, let's see if we can pull everything in here. Oh, we need wood. No problem. Take it out of one of the forges. Oh, that ain't got much. That ain't got... I'm burning up all the doggone wood. That one's all, all gone in there. All that to make darts. Oh, yeah, here's the wood. Yeah, pretty soon we're going to be swimming in wood. Yeah. Okay, saddles. What else we need? Oh, we can pull it. It's metal. This is the coolest saddle. And the funny thing is we'll probably find a better, a much, much better saddle. We don't need that. Oh. Is this thing full? No. Oh. It won't push in there. I want that in there. I want that in there. I don't need. Don't need this. Don't need this. Where's our thorny dragon saddle? There it is. This is the coolest looking saddle of all. Almost as cool as uh, the Magnosaur saddle. Look at that. Oh, wait a minute, this is not, oh, no, there's a, uh, there's a skin that has the overhead. I don't have the skin. I didn't die yet. Once I die, I'll have the skin. We're going to add a little bit of, okay, let's back you up a little bit. Get on the wreck. What's the Rex? I'm going to have the Rex follow us because we're going to be going, whoops. We're going to take a little trip here. Okay, got you following. Uh, real quick. Oh, he's not, he's not coming after us.
See, nothing but wood and thatch. That's what is so cool about this. Uh, let's do this next. Uh, another day on. Come on, tag target. Oh. Come on. Yeah, you go get him. I'll get the tree. Eh, I'll give you a hand. Am I hitting him? Oh, I'm hitting him for 111. Wow. This guy's a lot tougher than I thought. Oh, he harvested it, too. Uh, let's give him a little bit more damage. Wow. I didn't know he hit that good. But this is where I'm going to leave you guys on this. I'm going to be out here harvesting wood, and I don't know if you guys want to see that. I think next episode we're going to be closing off the base and making an RG trap. Till next episode, I thank you guys for watching, and if you guys enjoyed this, please hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys on next episode. Till then, bye-bye for now.